Hey, what's up Bronco fam? Today we're installing and reviewing another product for the Bronco. It is from Linson. And you can check them out on hoodsolarpanel.com or on Instagram through Hood Solar Panel. You see it's packaged up very well. This is the box within another box that I got out. There's a lot of tape. So you can see this is this is gonna be the top right here. It has like, I don't know if you see, it has like a nice little texture, almost like a golf ball. And it's actually pretty well built durable. I haven't seen a solar panel look like this before. It looks very well built. As you can see right there, the company Lens Sun, L-E-N-S-U-N. This is the module that sits up top. And this is the wire that runs behind the hood. Going to the battery. You see it matches the same curved lines as the curve on the hood. And then it also comes with, sorry, like I said, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It also comes with this solar charge controller. So this takes the power from the solar panel itself and converts it to safe power to the battery. And this part right here connects directly to the solar panel you have two outs to the battery, and that is a fused wire, along with some Velcro to keep it tucked away nice. Um, a very thick instruction book. And I'm not sure, this looks like some type of antenna. And then it looks like we, yeah, we have two more outs for an accessories that we want powered. So that's pretty cool. Like a secondary battery, I guess, or some type of, I don't know, it depends how much this solar panel is gonna put out from this box to see what we could use these for, or we'll just keep them capped off for now. We will have to put like some tape around here because that is exposed, or just push these back down if it lets us. But you can kind of see it has a really good, just visual instruction here, solar panel, accessory battery and then in our third box the bike so good instructions as well as do all these lesson kits have so for those of you that have a bronco hood that is not currently vinyl wrapped it comes with a vinyl wrap piece that is perfectly made to cover that all right so your very next step is you have to clean this whole surface. You can see mine's quite dusty. So what I'm gonna use is this waterless wash just to clean off the dirt, that's it. After that, you need to go through with either some alcohol or a degreaser to make sure all these chemicals and wax comes right off. I know I should just wash the vehicle, but I'm only worried about this section right now. I'll wash the vehicle later. So use what you can. I mean, honestly, just wiping it down and then degreasing the alcohol is fine too, but I got this perfectly good bottle of Renegade Rebel waterless wash, so might as well use it. It smells good too. All right, you can see we got it all cleaned off. That wild track lettering's popping in the sun, and it's also very hot on the hood, so I'm not sure we should be doing this in this extreme of heat, but I mean, we should just make the stickiness extra sticky, I would assume. I don't know, but it is extremely hot. This is my only free time during the week, so gotta get it done. All right, so you made it this far in the video. Now we finally get the panel out. As per instructions, it says to flip the panel over and lay 3M double-sided sticky tape, which it does not come with but you can get it on Amazon or any local auto parts store. I highly recommend you do get 3M, the brand it's double-sided sticky tape because I have used the other brands and they are not anywhere close to as good. So do with that information as you want. I use double-sided sticky tape quite often and I just see the other stuff fail pretty commonly. So first we're gonna take this, place on the hood, make sure it all lines up evenly with the vinyl decal. And then if it does, we're gonna lay our 3M all the way around without leaving any gaps for water or debris. That's a big one. All right, solar panels on, we're done. 
kidding. I wish it was that easy. But as you can see, we want to align this back piece up with this line right here. But then it comes too far forward, so we might have to use that other vinyl after all. So I laid this vinyl on top of the solar panels. You can see it's still too short. I mean, comparative from that end to this lip, this lip being right there, it's still about a quarter inch too short, but a quarter inch better than the one inch we had. So just remember that when you're applying it. All right, so I got it all 3M'd out. A little trick of the trade is to cut an extra piece, get a razor, slice off the 3M tape, peel it off, and now you have these little grab handles. So when it's laid flat, you just zoop all the way around after it's lined up. These, however, you won't have to be that lucky, but the rest you can. That way it's just not plopped on the edges. You could always pull these up and not care. These are little small strips, but this is one whole piece going around. So let's go ahead and put it up and see what it looks like. All right, as you can see, I got it lined up right now with the 3M tape already on it. What I did to line it up was I made sure this corner was aligned with that black final corner, but versa over here. And then you see a piece of blue tape as well. That marks the center of my hood. Which I don't know if you can see with all the sunlight. I'm trying to blow. I don't know where the sun's coming. It's coming from the opposite direction. Okay. Well, there is a center line right here. So I marked that center line up with this blue line. You can't see the center line, of course, but it's there, I promise. When you get yours, you'll know for sure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push down on the sticky tape that is attached because there is a little bit. And when you just have the middle 3M sticky tape in, it still gives you room to pick up and move as long as you don't push down. Once you push down, it's done. But now you can see it's pushed down. Now I'm going to go on the other side, fish around, and pull that little red tape. All right. If you can see it, this little red tab right here is a part of that 3M tape. Now what you're going to want to do is keep it low and towards you. Pulling just a little bit at a slight angle. Slight angle, rework and turn slow. You don't want to rip it because once that happens, you're done for. There is no rushing this process. Now you can go back through on this side and push this side down. Make sure we don't get any impurities in there. The reason I waited though to get to there before I started pushing because if I pushed right here, it'd be too much tension on that and it would just rip it. That's just thin plastic. So you can see there's still a lip. I haven't pushed down. I'm just working it little by little. They're starting to stretch right here. So I'm going to go back in here. It's nice and slow. Nice and slow. You got to do this like you got one shot because really all you do is have one. After that, you got to start all over and removing this 3M sticky tape after it's already installed is a bigger pain than it's worth. Come on. Oh, I need to get my ladder. All right, I got the ladder. Pull it back. All right, it's a little bit stuck right here. And then we go. It's off. Now that that's on, you give yourself a pat on the back because you just did an incredible job that is not easy. All right, I'm pretty sweaty right now. It's hot out. But it's all done as far as the, the hardest part's all done, I should say. The most nerve-wracking part is done. So I'm happy. Somehow, I got it really straight. And I don't know how, because I didn't measure anything. I just did my best eyeball. Who knows? Maybe it's terrible and my eyes just think it looks good. But I think it looks great. Next, we have to route this big chunky wire through this tiny crevice. So I'm thinking about maybe running it down through here. Oof, there goes my paint job. <clears throat> but we'll see. I'm going to pop the hood and see what we could work with. Well, I don't know if you could tell, but it's slightly darker. <laughs> what I ended up having to do after trying to find a spot for this tiny component module, whatever, in this big bay of things, while also trying to keep the heat down on that, because I'm sure 
that can't get too hot being electronic and this is full of heat I came up with two great solutions one mounted it to the underside of the hood right here well then that came to the thought if I decided to do hood struts in the future that could be a mounting spot I don't know so I said no let me not do that and as you can see there's some plastic missing here and some nut certs the hardest part with mounting this is these tiny holes you can see like barely anything fits in there my tiniest bolt doesn't fit through there but it does through this cut open slot so what I did I'm just gonna put it like that and let the bolts hug it down kind of like a sandwich and squeeze it and now this is open enough to where I don't have to worry about it getting hit because the foam stops right there I don't have to worry too much about heat because it's kind of like a heat guard right here going up so it should be sandwiched in and pretty safe from everything else then you got the problem of this long wire that can reach all the way to the front of the grill if I wanted to which I know more is typically better than less but then you have all these wires too and then the third problem is there is no good place to put this wire through no matter where you put it through here it's gonna get squished and yes this is removable but you can't drive with it removed and I could notch an area here but that would be tacky I could notch the hood, that'd also be tacky. I could drill a hole into this and then back down through here and snake it through. That wouldn't be crazy if you did it nicely. I was thinking like maybe right, maybe like right in here with a grommet, but at the same time that's where water runs through. So hard, hard, hard decisions. We'll see. Hopefully it's not too much of a headache and we can work through this. All right, you can tell it's not the cleanest job, <clears throat> but immediately once I plugged the solar panel into this kit, the lights started blinking, all three of them. I'm guessing since green's blinking, that means charging. I'll have to look at the instructions and read that. But I got the cable that connects to the solar panel. I got it ran right through here. I added a little protective foam piece right here so it doesn't have bare metal cutting into this. And then I routed it behind here into the fender dropped all the extra wire and back up into here so everything's hidden as far as that and then for your positive oh you see i squished it up right here did my velcro and then a zip tie through this hole that's right above the fuse box and then i did my negative to that terminal my positive to oh, how do you open this again oh there it is to this one obviously there's two extra studs for bolts for um nuts but i didn't have any nuts that fit any 10 millimeters so i used what i had and that part is done i do wish they would have used some um weatherproof ceiling here instead of just that plastic piece i'll probably go through later with a piece of heat shrink and fix that but right now it's too hot and i just want some immediate success which i think i have i mean that's what it looks like from right here i'm gonna fix that ugly bundle of mess but i need some time for my brain to unfry to figure out how i'm gonna hide all that i'll probably go just by looking, I'll probably route that behind the fuse box, tucked maybe through this frame rail right here, the fender frame, and then back through this hole and out. I'll probably do that. That looks to be the cleanest option. Um, I guess last time I went to the dealership for a bad blinker, they ended up cutting my grill lights. So I'm about to go back there and see what's up because that doesn't affect the blinkers at all. It's just a separate fuse source. So I don't know why they would cut that. Ford guys, that's what happens. All right, so I found in the instruction manual where it says it. So as you can see, our green LED was flashing earlier and if it has a fast flash, which it did, that means that it is charging. And then it tells you the seconds of what each one means. Then in the yellow, it was on so battery is normal but if it's a slow fast that means the battery voltage is low fast flash low voltage protection 
and the red flash off, work normal on, the outer power is zero, flash over temperature and fast flash short circuit. I don't remember if our red was on or off, let me go check. Do, do, do. Oh no. Okay, our red is off, so that means it's perfectly good. Yellow's on, that means it's working. Green flash, that means it's charging. There is also this cool Solar Life BT app you could download on your phone and it'll tell you everything you need to know instead of having to pop your hood to see every time. So, if you like this video, guys, and you found any part of it helpful, please leave a like, a comment, and let me know what you guys think. Because this was, wasn't the easiest install for me and it was very hot. So, your kind words and your likes help a lot. And I just hope overall y'all found this video useful and it'll help you with your Bronco. So thanks for watching guys. Y'all have a good day.